Hello friends, uh, welcome uh, to Chiglum. My name is Laura and I am a Qigong teacher from uh, Berlin, Germany. Today I am going to present a flow targeting the spleen and uh, the stomach. According to traditional Chinese medicine, the spleen is responsible to transform the food and the drinks, the liquids that we take in, and um, make it possible for the other organs uh, to uh, use it. So it's going to be transformed and it's going to be transported, for example, to the kidneys, to the lungs, uh, and so on. And uh, uh, while the stomach uh, is responsible to further process uh, and divide uh, the pure and the impure, and what is still usable will be transformed uh, in uh, other bodily fluids, while what is not needed is going to be sent uh, to the uh, to the colon to the, uh, to the bladder to be uh, expelled from the body. So. Um, the spleen and the stomach are therefore responsible for our digestion and uh, one of the best way of course to pay attention and to improve our digestion is to make sure that what we take in uh, is, um, is of good quality. So proper food and proper drinks uh, uh, and so on. There are also a couple of things uh, that um, are useful to improve your digestion, such as avoid eating large meals. It is better to eat smaller meals during the day rather than uh, two large ones, because the stomach otherwise and the spleen will have too much work to do, they will be overloaded. Um, and one other thing is not to eat too late at night, so that you have enough time to digest before you go to sleep. And, um, uh, according to, uh, actually in traditional Chinese medicine, uh, nutrition is uh, one of the branch of uh, TCM and there is a whole uh, science behind it, which is, uh, I find very fascinating and actually uh, um, Chinese people also use uh, the food to cure themselves. So they prepare lots of soup, uh, they eat rice porridge in the morning is, for example, very good for your spleen. Um, avoid uh, very cold drinks, so the spleen does not like that at all. So if you are accustomed to drink ice uh, from the fridge of ice with water and you have digestive problems, maybe you want to try to uh, stick to, water, to room temperature uh, water or whatever liquid you take. Um, sometimes the stress, sometimes the digestive problems are well caused by stress. So stomach pain uh, caused by stress, I think it's something that uh, we might experience in our life. And a fortune is uh, perfect uh, um, because it will help uh, to decrease your stress level. What also Qigong can do is uh, to clear stagnant qi, because if the qi is stagnant, no matter which organ, then it will affect also the whole uh, functioning of your organs. So, uh, for example, um, well, if the qi is stagnant, then you don't have fresh qi, and then the qi uh, in, an or in one organ can be deficient. For example, if the kidney qi is uh, uh, deficient, then the spleen uh, is not warm enough uh, to perform properly. Uh, or if the liver qi is deficient, uh, then the spleen cannot also transform uh, as it should uh, um, the food and uh, the drinks that we take uh, and send it to the other organs for further use. Um, therefore, in this flow, we are going uh, to purge a lot, There's lots of purging exercises uh, to let the chi moving. Um, but I will also um, introduce uh, some uh, exercises to uh, grow and to tonify uh, the kidneys and the liver because they are they work closely with the spleen and the stomach. Um, many of the of the flows of the exercises uh, um, are uh, things that we already did in previous classes, but I'm going to introduce the two new uh, uh, flows. And one is a breathing exercise, uh, uh, fire breathing, and the other one uh, is a buffalo plows the plows the land, which is a, 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 a self massage. But uh, let's go to the mat and let's practice them together to improve our digestion. So we begin in the uh, 
starting position. The feet are shoulder width apart. If you don't know how much that is, you can simply um, bend one knee and this is the right uh, width that you should have. The knees are slightly bent uh, and the feet are looking uh, pointing forward. Okay? Make sure that your knees do not collapse inwards or outwards because otherwise you strain your knees and uh, you might hurt yourself. Uh, remove the curve in the lumbar spine, so we don't want to have this kind of position. Just bring your pelvis forward, okay? so that the spine is long, and we want to have a long spine. And shoulders are also relaxed, and you can tuck your chin in, so that also the neck is long. And uh, the arms are along the body, fingers are open and spread. And you can close your eyes and just take a moment here to uh, focus on your breathing. So when, the, when you inhale, the belly expands, the lower abdomen. And when you exhale, the belly retracts. So inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Try to see if you can feel the whole um, lower body, so um, lower than tien, so the, the abdomen, but also the sides and uh, the back um, of, your, of your body. This is called dantian breathing. Dantian is this uh, area which is uh, in the lower abdomen, about two fingers below the um, belly button inside the body. So it's not to the surface. So. Inhale, exhale. This uh, breathing exercise that brings uh, uh, the focus in the present moment. Increases your awareness. Then you can open your eyes and we are going to turn our body right and left, letting our arms swing and knock uh, in the front of our body and in the back of our body. On the back of our body, we have an important uh, gate, uh, which is called uh, the door of life. And this is why this movement is called knocking on the door of life. Um, and it's an important center for our vitality. And uh, it's good to have this point open and uh, um, with, uh, not stuck in the cheap. Okay, let's start. Move from your center. So the hips stay forward. Move the upper body and the head also follows the movement. Try not to bend forward or backwards. And here we are. Uh, doing several things at the same time. We are knocking on the digestive system, so we are breathing stagnation, allowing them uh, also fresh chi to flow. And this movement uh, also opens the door of life, and it's very good for uh, lower back pain. It also relaxes the nervous system. And slow it down. Back to the center. And now uh, will your fingers tap under your breath? And inhale from the nose, exhale out of the mouth. 
here we have uh, uh, the spleen meridian points. So we are also clearing chi from those points. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Now, on the face, we have here the stomach points. Stomach one, uh, stomach two, and three. So, also here, you can exhale out of the mouth. This is the purging breath. Very well. Now let's go back to the lower abdomen and let's just now come to the lower abdomen. So the gate to the lower dantiana is uh, the chi high point, which is the fingers and the belly button. So it's a surface point uh, from which we can access uh, the uh, lower dantiana. So this is why when we close also our sessions, uh, um, very often we focus on that point. Let's move to the liver on the right side. The liver is a very large organ and it's located under the rib cage. Um, while uh, um, under the, the rib cage, uh, you have uh, the intestine, the large intestine. So if you have a uh, Sometimes pain on the right side, um, very often actually it's caused by the large intestine, for example, if you are constipated. Let's move to the spleen and the stomach on the left side. The spleen and the stomach are associated with uh, the earth element and with the yellow color. And stop. Now go to your fingertip and on your, yeah, on your toes tip and let yourself fall. So up and down. Make sure that when you go down, your knees are bent so that you can really absorb the shock. Uh, this movement is good because uh, uh, it's, it vibrates uh, through the whole body and uh, um, all elements that I'm purge. And I find it actually very pleasant to do this movement. And let everything go. And now just stay here for a moment and observe your body. Feel the chi. In Qigong, we always have active phases, so always passive phases. So we are switching between yang, which is active, and yin, which is passive. See if you can really feel the warmth and the twinkling around your limbs. In your hands. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. And when you inhale, the belly expands. Exhale, the belly retracts. Now you can open your eyes. We are going to do fire breathing. Fire breathing is a, a stronger exhalation out of the mouth. The inhalation uh, happens naturally. Um, so we are going to inhale, exhale. So inhale, belly out, exhale, retracts, and there is this sound coming out of, of 
the mouth, but you are breathing out of the nose. And we are going to inhale and exhale in this way for 24 times. And after that, we are going to hold our breath. Okay? We are training our body uh, to extend uh, this, this breathing uh, because it's a very effective way actually to relax and calm the body. And um, through this uh, art of inhalation, we are warming up uh, our lower dantian. Um, and we are energizing all of this area uh, where our digestive organs are located. Okay. So in standing position, you can check it out. Uh, the feet are pointing forwards, the knees are slightly bent and no curve on the back. You can bring your hands in front of uh, your lower dantian, and you can actually follow the movements uh, of uh, your abdomen if that helps. So, so inhale and exhale, push. Well, uh, uh, retract actually, so push out. Inhale, exhale. Okay, so let's start. Hold the breath out, hands to the side. Try to relax the muscles of your belly, but do not inhale. Relax, relax, relax. And when you can't hold it anymore, just inhale slowly. And you can march in place uh, and um, steer the chi into your lower abdomen. Back in the starting position, and we start again, second round. So inhale, exhale. Hold your breath, relax the muscles, focus your attention to your lower abdomen. You can place the tip of your tongue behind your front teeth to connect to the two central channels, the two uh, back and uh, front channels of the body. And when you can't hold the breath anymore, march in place and steer the chin. Again, last round. This is a purging uh, exercise. You just go for the fire element. So, so inhale. Hold the breath, relax, and close your eyes. Place your attention into your lower abdomen. Feel the lower abdomen warm, relaxed. And then inhale and steer the chin. Now let's do buffalo pose the land. We are going to inhale 
And next day, with the tongue sticking out, and we are going also to bend uh, our body forward, knees bent, and we're going to massage our organs in the lower abdomen, um, starting uh, from the right side and going then the digestion flow. So right, then uh, left, and then down and from the left to the right side. Okay, and we are really going to dig deep. Uh, even under our ribs, okay? Um, at the beginning, you might have trouble to do the whole circle with just one breathing. So when you don't have uh, more breath anymore, ju just uh, get up and do one uh, holding down the heaven, inhale uh, two, three times, uh, and then you start again eventually from the place where uh, you stopped the, uh, the time before. With exercise, then you will be able to do the whole circle with one, uh, one breath, so holding one time. And this is why actually it's good to try to breathe in the beginning because you're already uh, telling your body how to extend the breath. Okay. So inhale, exhale. And massage. everywhere with your fingertips and then inhale When you do this exercise, you might uh, feel that you want to uh, either fart or even poop. And actually, this is good because you are then releasing these trapped gases uh, and all this chi and this air that you don't need inside your organs. And so don't feel ashamed if that happens. So again, inhale, exhale. Hold your breath, massage. Last time, inhale, exhale. Hold your breath. Feel the chi. Notice if uh, you have more saliva into your mouth, if you have uh, just gather it uh, all and swallow it in one gulp, follow its path to your stomach. Observe how your belly now feels uh, after the breathing and uh, Massage. Relax in the position and breathe into the lower abdomen. And 
Right. So these two exercises are fire breathing and um, bubble balls around are very good if you do it in the morning before eating. So that you can really clear the stomach. And uh, um, eventually after doing this, uh, this uh, purging exercises, for breakfast, uh, for breakfast, you might want to have a, a tea with ginger. But pay attention, do not put too much ginger because otherwise it will create too much heat for uh, your body. And if you are um, uh, in menopause or premenopause, uh, then actually it's better not to take ginger or really very little because it creates more fire into your body. So now let's move to some uh, lungs purging. So we are going to open up our heart and stretch the ramai, the conception vessel here in the center of our body. And we are going to uh, bend down uh, with crane, uh, with the uh, yeah, crane beaks. So the hands um, are close together, the fingertips in this position. I hope you can see properly. Okay. So we are going down and green speak and to lower. So forward bend. Then bend your knees and go up again. Inhale, stretch and exhale. Green speak. We are opening here the shoulder nest where the lung, point, lung points are located. And we are also stretching the tumor, which is in the back of our body. Inhale, exhale. And uh, forward bends are always good for uh, the back, for the lower back. Stretch, open, and exhale. Up and down. Now place the hands together and move your wrist. So this is uh, an exercise especially good for uh, the liver. The liver is uh, connected or it's related to the joints. So releasing wind, uh, wind from the joints is good especially for the liver. And we're going to extend now this movement uh, to our side. So inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows down, and while the other goes up. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We are here compressing and releasing the sides of our body. And four, we are compressing and releasing the digestive organs. Let's switch direction. Inhale and exhale down. Inhale. 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 Last time, inhale up. Exhale down. Let's just balance a little bit here. So exhale. Around your back. Inhale. Exhale. Stretching. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now open your legs wider. We are going to turn right and left, looking back. So the hands here and then. Pivot your feet 
to the right, bend your knee and look back. Okay, so inhale and then really bend. Come back to the center and the other side. Here we are again, massaging, compressing the liver on the right side, gallbladder, and the spleen and the stomach on the other side. We are also straightening our legs and definitely warming up our body. And down, look inside. And let's bend forward to relax a moment. And while you're here, just uh, shift your weight by the left. You can bend, for example, one knee, one side, and feel stretch here inside your leg where. Uh, the kidney meridian, the spleen meridian, and um, the liver meridian are working. The other side. And come back to the center and just, just stay here. You can dangle a little. Tap your elbows if it feels good. Just do whatever uh, is uh, good for you. You also don't need to go so deep in your bend, you just go as far as you can. And then bend your knees and come up. Now your feet as large as the shoulders. We are going to inhale. Um, bringing our hands in front of our body as if we were hugging a giant tree and uh, we are tucking our pelvis a little so that the back here is a little bit round. So try to send your breath into your back, into this area where the kidneys are located. Okay. So inhale, exhale. Exhale. Inhale. And now bend down. Scoop earth chi. Bring it up along the kidney uh, meridian and then circulate it around your body. Inhale. Bend just as far as you can. You can also bend just a little bit like this. Bring it up and circulate. Inhale. Down. Bring it up. Circulate. You can place uh, your tongue behind your front teeth here so that you connect to the two channels the front and the back of the body. And stay here. And now let's move right and left from the center. So the hips are staying forward. And we're just going to move the upper body. Inhale, center, exhale, turn. Inhale, exhale. This is a spinal rotation. And again, uh, it's uh, Gives the massage and massages the spleen, the stomach, the liver. Makes more room for fresh chi to flow. Inhale, center, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now stay here. 
Place the hands with the palms facing earth. And just connect for a moment with the earth element. You can close your eyes for a moment if you want. You can imagine something gold, like a, a field of wheat, maybe for the harvest. And you can bring this color into your spleen and stomach. And you can inhale, imagining this field, and take this golden light and bring it to the spleen and stomach. Inhale, golden light, and let it shine at the spleen and your stomach. Now place the hands uh, um, over your head, closed. And feel the chi to your hand and to your head. And imagine that you have like a lotus flower coming out of your head. And this lotus flower is open up and then you're tracing the stem with your hands all the way down. So you bend from your knees down. And then you scoop with chi and bring it up again. Open, let the flower blossom and go along the stem. Be connected to the earth and the environment around and take the chi from this too and bring it up so that the lotus flower can blossom even stronger and more beautiful. You exhale when you go down and you inhale when you go. We are tracing here our central meridian. And the central meridian is the highway of chi. It connects the top of our head. So the highway point in the center of our head. And it goes all the way down to the perineum. So it connects us from to heaven and to earth. And the cleaner, the stronger, the central meridian is the more chi we can take in. Last time. And inhale. Open up. Enjoy this beautiful lotus flower. Looking at the sun. And relax. Now bring your hands to the side. We are going to do something similar to connect the heaven and earth and strengthen the central meridian. But this time uh, we are going to inhale the hands up, take heavenly chi and bring it down. And then mix it with the earth. So really scoop earth chi, make like wings with your hands. Then take it up around along the central meridian and then to the side, offer it back to your environment. Inhale, scoop heavenly chi, bring it down, mix it with earth chi. Take this earth chi up and offer it to the world. Inhale. Take it from heaven. Wash it through your body. 
Mix it with earth chi. Scoop earth chi. Take it from the legs up and offer it. And then ends up. Have only chi from heaven. Let it wash on your crown. Then behind your back. Brush your neck and your chest to cool the heart. Bring it to the kidneys, to the back and uh, massage your kidneys. And down. Legs around the feet and up. And store it into the lower your abdomen. Again, inhale. Holding chi, exhale. Look up, inhale, and brush your neck. Exhale, cool the heart. Inhale, grab your kidneys to tonify them. And down, bladder. The meridians on the legs and up. And center to the other way. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. We are feeling here our aura and any leakages we may have and taking fresh chi from heaven and then store it into our abdomen. To close our flow, place the hands in front of your lower abdomen and just raise one hand to the side and trace the central meridian. Down, inhale, exhale. And this the simple flow is also very good to focus your mind, to center it. When you are a little bit anxious or unfocused. Always inhale when the hand goes up, exhale when it goes down. Last time, both sides, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now place your hands into your lower abdomen to cover your lower dantian. Step the feet together. And massage the belly. Belly massage is uh, also very effective um, to move the chi, to stir it, and uh, your massage in internal organs and it is also very good, for example, for constipation. Uh, in Chinese, say, rub your belly 300 times um, if you are experiencing constipation. We're not going to do 300 times. So we're just going a few times to feel it, to warm it up one last time. And then spiral the hands into the other direction. And make the circle smaller and smaller until it's a small point into your lower. Abdomen and your belly working. You just stay here for a moment. And close your eyes and let your body swing as if it were a bamboo in the air. Giving your feet a massage. Thumb 
It was a pleasure to be here with you and I wish you a great rest of the day.